Hello everyone, this is Kinkoni IoT. Last video, we have created the Amazon AWS EC2 cloud server and install the NodeRed on the cloud server. In this video, I will tell you how to let our COL logical controller uh, it's connected with many sensors, uh, the analog sensor and digital sensor and the temperature sensor. We let this all sensor it connect to your own cloud server, that AWS EC2 server. And you can use a mobile phone, uh, see the sensor state, temperature, analog input, and the digital input. And also you can uh, display on the computer. At this time, this window and this state is on your cloud server, not in, worked in the local network. So I will tell you how to do this. OK, let's look at the hardware device. This is COLB, our new version of the logical controller. We have designed the, so the software and the hardware uh, for some improvement. And this is the blue color uh, for digital input and analog input, and uh, also have a uh, temperature sensor. Uh, but at this time, it has Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. Uh, they can two communication work mode at the same time. So you can one port for local network uh, for computer to monitor our data sensor. And another point is like the Wi-Fi connect to your cloud server and send all the sensor data to your own cloud server. Now we will test you this temperature sensor, fire temperature sensor. We have already connected with the LAN. Now I have connected the network point. I will set the C85 cable connect with the cloud server. At last, we power on. OK, the hardware is ready. Now we will do the software the software configure. This will do this uh, dashboard uh, for the COL. That is input state for digital input. And this is the temperature sensor. And this is the analog sensor. All oh, this window and the user interface, uh, the name, the title, and the icon, you can be changed by yourself. This is just a demo. I can tell you how to get the date and set your sensor data to the cloud server. OK, the first step, we will open this uh, network setting. This is for our COLB module. But if you have COL, the version uh, just use VCon to open this network setting. Because this module have Ethernet and Wi-Fi at the same time, so we can set the Ethernet uh, for the work mode for TCP client. And this is IP and the port. This means uh, the internet connect with your own cloud server. This server IP is Amazon EC2. You can see this. We have created. Uh, this is a public IP. And the point just set by yourself. Uh, it, uh, it according to your set in the node red. Uh, at this time, I will tell you not must need Amazon AWS. You just you can rent or you can use your own cloud server in any uh, computer or any server just running on Windows operating system or you you can install the Linux operating system or is no problem. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi setting. The Wi-Fi we have configured the SSID and the password for our load. You just have configure this for your load and. This Wi-Fi work model I have set to the TCP server. That means the Wi-Fi work in local network. We don't send the state to the cloud server. So this is a server mode, and this is a client mode. Now, when you set this, uh, just click uh, save. Uh, the con controller will be reboot. When you reboot, you can see there are LD indicate. We can see this LD indicate. This is power and running. And this is for Ethernet. The white LD means the Ethernet is work as the client mode. It have connect to your cloud server. This means the Wi-Fi work mode. 
this is yellow. That means this TCP server mode. So uh, the Wi-Fi is work as a server in the local network. OK, now uh, this is our quit. Uh, the Amazon EC2 cloud server. So we need to use the IP address uh, to use in NodeLed or your in mobile phone or other computer to visit your website. Uh, this is hard to remember the IP. So I have already used the DNS. Uh, you can also use your domain name and create a record. Add a record for a type. Uh, like I have created the IoT host name and the value I have point to the Amazon uh, public IP address. And this is just a defer. It's OK. Now you can visit our website or your website by the iot.kinkoni.com. Uh, just like this, uh, you can use this domain and this point to visit the NodeRed. Uh, I have opened the NodeRed website. Uh, we have created uh, the diagram uh, this is the follows uh, I have created. So it's easy for you just uh, in, in point this point. It's quickly to use for you. And before the first time you use this diagram and this follows, you need to make sure you have installed these five nodes. You just uh, you can uh, go to this manage and the nodes you just uh, like this uh, first one. You can input uh, to this. Uh, it's in use. If you're not in use the first time, this, there will be an install button. You just uh, click, uh, it will be installed online. So you can check the uh, second, the third, the fifth, and the fourth. Uh, all items uh, is installed uh, for the node red. We can, like this, uh, input, input and you can see in use and make sure all these five nodes have installed. I will uh, add this test uh, on our form. Uh, you can see that. Okay. When you install these all nodes, uh, you can visit our form. I have uploaded the zip file uh, for the COL uh, connect to your cloud server. The following files uh, you can download and unzip. Unzip. Then you can use this node red the import. Import, yeah, just select a file to import. You can just select this one. And this is our other follows, uh, just the uh, relay controller, the dimmer, and the COL. Uh, this is uh, working local network. So we will continue to make the video toys about the hot cloud cloud server works for this uh, device. Uh, this is for, we can choose this AWS EC2 and uh, just click open uh, because I have already opened. So when you import, you can see this uh, follows. You just need to make sure uh, this one, uh, double click, and this is TCP in node. We will choose this listen on. And if you use in local network, uh, before video, we have chosen connect to because the node that is a client, the uh, controller is a server. So this time we click the listen on. And this point uh, 4196, uh, because we have used this 4196, uh, this client, uh, uh, TCP client mode is also sent to this point. This point needs a thing. A thing and this point. Uh, so this is listening, and that will be connected to this point. Uh, so we need to uh, make sure it is seen. Uh, just uh, down. And uh, the other important is you need to make sure your EC2 security group We need to add this uh, this point for the firewall. Uh, I have added this. Uh, all TCP is zero for zero to this this point. Uh, just uh, include the four one nine six point. Uh, you can use the edit function. You can uh, add this, add this, 
or you can only uh, add the uh, 4196 or other point number just uh, you need. Okay. When you uh, when you set all the diagram finished uh, like this one and this one, uh, this not needed to send. I have already created uh, just use local host, local host. This means it work in EC2 server. So that means uh, running on the server. This is a TCP request uh, node, uh, not needed to change. So this four follows. You only need to change this just to make sure your point is set uh, by the controller is the same. And this is not needed to change. OK. Uh, when you ready, you just uh, press the deploy. Deploy. Then you can see when is connection. So our controller, the COL, is connected to the cloud server successfully. Now you can see uh, the dashboard. You just uh, choose the dashboard and click this button. We will open the website, uh, the domain name, and the UI. So you can see this is all sensor have been displayed. So it's very easy. You can set all the name, like this is title, is basic. You just uh, this edit. This name is title name, basic. And every, like this LG, you can see this is name, import one. You can import uh, like door sensor, or smoking sensor, or power feature sensor, any sensor just import to this place. So, so you, you will change the name, and the uh, temperature name, and the analog input name, and the title. This is the temperature sensor have detect. This is use the actual on the PC website. We can also use a mobile phone. You can see I can change to 4G. So I open the web browser. Uh, this is our URL. And we can see uh, there are temperature. Uh, temperature is displayed. So now the mobile phone, the value is get the date from the Amazon EC2 cloud server, uh, just your own cloud server. Uh, this is temperature 1 and temperature 2. You can see if I <coughs> hold on this, uh, you can see the temperature is changed. This one, uh, this one is up. Now I have connected the Europe server. I'm in China, so the distance is very long, but the speed, I think, uh, is no problem. Uh, 20. OK. You can also see this is a digital input. You can see the input one is turn green. I remove the twice uh, turn red. And also I shot a turn green. So the speed, is, I think, is uh, no problem. Also, you can see this is a temperature sensor. We can see uh, uh, this uh, three, five, four. Uh, I have not changed. This is the temperature. You can see this and this. Just uh, this three one. Can you see clearly? Uh, you can see this is a HTTP URL. So you can use this URL stream on your Windows operating system, PC, or the Apple Mac, also the mobile phone and the pad. Any device just to have network browser. OK, this window is get a date from the website and from your cloud server. And we can see this is Wi-Fi version. Wi-Fi module is for the local network. So we can also 
open our this software. This is for local network. This is connect to this IP and this port. You can see this IP is Wi-Fi. This is IP, and this point is the Wi-Fi point. So, this I also can see the value. The temperature is changed, and the digital input. When I shot for 16 channel, you can see the 16 channel is turned green, and I remove the hand. The 16 channel is turned uh, become recover the color. So now the controller, the COL, uh, not only can send the date to the local network PC software, also can send the date to the cloud server. So if you home have a device, have a PC, uh, internet is broke, it's no problem. You can see this software uh, audit monitor. And if you outside the home, you are in using mobile phone or other device uh, on the car or on the, uh, other somewhere, uh, you just uh, use this URL uh, to get the date and uh, see the sensor state uh, remotely by the internet. So this is how to uh, create the node red uh, and see the sensor state on the cloud server. In next video, I will tell you how to save this uh, temperature and the sensor history date that you can save to a file, that you can uh, have the local file, you can, you can see the history date uh, for you to use. Okay, thanks for watching.